Today I'm going to show you a resin printer. Um, this is a 3D printer which uses a light source to cure a resin which is in a liquid form. And this machine is made by Creality and the model number is Howlot 1. This particular type of a printer is really suited for people who want to print small items but more details. If you imagine, the print bed is about the size of your smartphone and um, the light source coming from the bottom hitting the resin on top make it solidified and then it pulls the model up so it kind of um, the model will grow out of the liquid and it comes up and is limited by the size of the enclosure inside and the limit of the LCD. Now this one here as a kind of a latest generation it has a 2K resolution screen so you can print uh, more details on the model. In terms of build size, you can print up to 127 mil by 80 by 160 millimeters. In the UK, you can get this for about 250 pounds or maybe 260 pounds, including delivery. In America, you'll be paying about the same in dollars, so about 250 dollars. Creality is one of the biggest brand in terms of 3D printer, so I'll let you design what your money can buy, if it is good or if it is up to the standard that they claim. My video is not scripted, so thank you very much for watching. If you like uh, the content or if you find my content useful, don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. So let's open this and have a look and see what is inside. Okay, so you've got your power lead, which is 3-pin plug for the UK. You've got a scraper and a brush and you've got a USB card stick thing here. Release film for 3D printer. So packaging wise, fantastic. I love to see people who actually have take the time to design the packaging. I mean, you can't really damage this if you have the normal delivery route. So here we are, everything is in here already. There's no need to build or um, assemble. Sometimes uh, the difference between this and the cheaper brand is basically, you know, they sell a lot of printer and they know what it works. So every time they have an update or a new printer, it got all the functions that, you know, user friendly. I'm all for buying cheap, you know, my channel is all about money saving, but it comes to a point that, you know, um, there is a reason why you're paying a little bit extra for a branded product. By all means, if there is a brand which can do the same and it's cheaper, of course I will go for that. I find it more and more that, you know, I'd rather pay a little bit more for a branded product than going for some unknown manufacturer. It's not that they can't do the job right, it's just that you're paying that little bit extra because they refine the product. Um, with 3D printing process, there's so many things to go wrong. For example, the room temperature, your, your material that you use, and there are a lot of uh, rare uh, and there's a lot of rare and tear parts which will affect the print quality. I just find that sometimes the branded products they are just a little bit better at making things work. Outside is protected by the foam, just as, like I show you, and inside as well. So. This really minimizes the chance of uh, breakage during transport. So here we are. So you've got your build plate, obviously is detached from the machine. You've got this casing here, which is very important to keep all the fumes and all the light source from hitting your resin, because the resin is UV reactive. So if you leave it in the open and the sun shine on it, you will end up with one big messy lump of plastic. Okay, if I show you the printer, this is all metal casing and it's pretty heavy. Um, they are the Creality, they are famous for the light source. So everything starts with the light. So the lights need to shine through a piece of uh, LCD here, which tells the printer or tell the resin where to solidify it. And that is how it works. I mean, so far the build quality is impressive. There's hardly any movement on the stand on the head and that's the unboxing done. I'm going to read on the menu and then I'm going to start printing something to show you guys what this can and what it can't do. So first of all, let's um, take off the film, which is the protected film for the LCD display and your built tank, I call it built tank. You got two sides to it. So one side you have those uh, kind of lines on there, which tells you how much liquid that you're putting in there. So I think it's 170 mil and then 200 something mil and then like as such. So it depends on how big your model is, then you want to put the resin into the tank because as it comes up, the volume will go down in terms of the volume of the um, resin. So make sure that the groove line is on that side and then you put it back onto the screen. 
and then you screw it down. In terms of powering up the machine, you need to put the three pin plug lead on the back. And the lead is not that long, so I need to have an extension on the table on this side. You can always buy a longer cattle lead if you want to. And then you can turn it on. So now it's booting up with the Creality logo. I love the latest generation of printer. The touchscreen makes it so much easier to navigate the menu. And then you've got options like file and setting. Let's go into setting and you got all this one, which I will go through in detail, maybe part two of the video. Today, I just want to start printing because that's how Im impatient I am. And you can set up like wireless printing as well. So for example, wireless, language, refresh. Obviously default is English. You have Chinese on there as well. If you can read Chinese, parameter setting. So you got bottom lifting distance, six mil, bottom exposure time. This will be the things that you need to play around to fine tune your printer. I'm not going to touch anything because I want it to be like a first person uh, experience. So any of you guys, if you're buying the printer, if you're not familiar with uh, 3D printing, what will you do? You will do exactly what I'm doing right now. So I'm not going to mess around with too much of the details. I just want to see if it prints by itself. So you've got file and you've got settings. So this is kind of uh, ready to go. Um, I'm going to push it back onto one side here. Resin I have here is uh, some simple one here. Some of them are water soluble, some of them are not. And uh, some of them have low odor. Um, resin usually have a distinctive smell to it and I really don't like it. Obviously this one is inside the enclosure so that will help to confine the smell to one end of it. But I do want to use something which doesn't smell. So I will test out a few and maybe in the future video I can tell you about different brand of the resin or different types of resin that I use. But today I'm just going to st use a standard cheapest one I can find on the internet, just like anyone would do um, doing 3D printing. So we've got the printer ready, but we need something to print with. So it comes with a USB stick like this and um, you plug it into the side here. Then you go to file. You've got two files on there. I don't know what they are. So this one here is 18 hours print. I think it's a calibration print, but I'm not going to do that because it's 18 hours long. Okay, so I come to the place where I need to um, slice the 3D model that I download on the internet and get the printer to print, but there is not much instruction here in terms of where to get the software from. So, um, and there's nothing on this disk. I don't think this is a USB stick. I think this is something else which I'm going to talk about later. So, but on the instruction, it says start printing and you need something called Halo Box. So I start searching on the internet and I found the Creality uh, website, which is very comprehensive, but there's so much on there because they do all different kinds of printer. Um, basically you go to creality.com uh, forward slash download, and then it comes to a um, page where you can download a lot of stuff. So firmware, software, and even some um, um, sample model that you can download. Go to software and you will find Hello Box. And there's the Win 64 EXE, and this is the one for Windows. So I'm going to download it, install it, and then try to play around with on my PC and get some models and start printing. Then you need your 3D uh, model. So um, I always go to MakerBot Thing Universe. So you just download whatever you want. But at the moment, I'm downloaded this Banshee stuff, which is everyone do to test their printer. So I downloaded the file, unzipped it onto my Windows, and then you will go on to the Halo Box software. Now by default, this is a printer called Halo uh, Sky, but this is not my printer. So what you need to do is go to Add Printer, and then go to choose Halo 1, Add, and that's it. And that's your printer. And um, it's already got the right volume and the right build place and everything. So uh, presumably you don't need to change anything. I mean, you can change stuff, but I'm just going to stick to the really, really basic stuff for now. Then click on the open logo to open a file and then open the 3D Banshee, which I downloaded. Okay, and it takes a few minutes and then it will be showing onto your printer. So here is where you can actually manipulate your model. So if you want to print it bigger, smaller, or add uh, different things to it, then you can. And, um, but usually this, um, this particular model, there is not a lot of uh, overhang and stuff like that. So you might not need anything. 
Okay, so basically I have downloaded the model, I tilted to one side so there is not too many overhang, so you have to print it like a side, kind of a slanted. At the support by pressing the support button and I just let everything kind of do automatic. And then and now it should be um, good to go. Okay, once you are done, um, export it to local, which is okay. Stick the USB uh, stick in there and then save it to your USB stick and then wait for it to tell you it's finished and then you take your USB stick out from your computer and then plug it into your printer once you plug it in, give it a few seconds and press file now the 3D printer now the 3D printing um, now the 3D printing model is on the USB and you press that when it's loaded, so it gives you an overview of what you're printing. It tells you that it's going to take 3 hours 32 minutes and um, it tells you that the file size and roughly what it looks like. Now if I move the camera closer so you guys can have a look. Okay, so now you can see um, the 3D file actually loaded on here, which I think is a really great idea to have an LCD screen which tells you what your model will actually look like once it's printed. Okay, now please bear in mind that I have not done any calibration or anything at all, yeah? So this is basically what out-of-the-box experience is like. I haven't even calibrated the printhead here. So um, it does say that it's already factory calibrated, so I'm not going to be bothered doing that. If it fails, then you can understand why. Now at this stage, you might want to use gloves because like resin, they are not very skin-friendly. And this is not a tutorial on how to um, print stuff. This is more like a out-of-the-box experience. So no spillage so far, so I'm still okay with no gloves on. Doesn't smell as bad as my first generation resin. It is very clever, you got a fan inside to cool things down and obviously circulate the air inside. Make sure the lid is back on securely. And now this is ready to start. So this is now printing layer 1. Usually this is the most crucial part of printing because the resin needs to stick onto your plate and then you pull it up. A lot of the time if the resin doesn't stick to your plate but solidify then it just stays at the bottom of the tank. Um, like I say, I haven't done any calibration or anything like that. I just want to see if it will work out of the box. I should do a calibration but the instructions say it's already calibrated, so I trust the instruction and see what will happen. All right, so um, it's done. Go back. Because I'm black gloves on, because I'm going to touch the resin, just to show you guys. Sometimes I can get away with not wearing gloves if I know that I'm not going to touch anything. But in this case, I might fiddle around with it while it's in my hand. I should wear gloves. So that's the resin liquid. Hardly use any at all. It's still on the mark that I left it with. And the build plate is on top right here. We'll just pull it out. Still some left on the plate, but not a lot. So those I get scooped up later. So here is my build. And that's why it's only and that's why it only take uh, 3 hours because look at how tiny that is. All right, so on to the next project. So I am now making the weapon from uh, Apex Legend and I'm going to print it and show you guys if it will be okay to print from this printer. It's going to take 15 hours. Seriously. I'll just put the lid on this side. Okay, snap off quite easily. I'm going to lay them on, the, on my dirty mat here. And I will give it a wipe of the excess. 
one thing I have to say is uh, red scene is quite messy business and it's kind of unavoidable. If you are a neat person, you can, uh, you can try as much as you can to keep it clean. And this plate is smooth. Usually they do recommend you filter the resin, but as a true newbie, I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm just going to push the plate back, tighten it, put the lid back on, and start printing again. I'm going to see how many prints I can get away with. So at this stage, you should use some kind of alcohol to rinse off the excess uh, um, resin and then use a UV light of some kind like a UV torch or leave it outside for some time so the UV will harden the resin but perfectly formed all the edges is fantastic and that's the power of a um, resin printer so I have um, downloaded the shark file which is a toy that you can have a movable joint and I used the Hellot box to slice it okay so moment of truth how did it print the movable toy not the easiest thing to print but I think it did okay all right so there you go still got like resin dripping down but this will be a good time to scrape it off and then uh, use some uh, ultraviolet light to uh, cure it so once again thank you very much for watching my video if you're not subscribed don't forget to share like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow um, just to show you a couple of uh, samples so I printed a banshee in much larger size like this and then a the knife that previously show you guys right here the details on this um, print is amazing you can see the engraving on the knife itself so this is a plant pot which I downloaded on the internet I haven't done any modification to it I basically just printed it with the printer still a bit wet because I haven't dried it out yet with uh, UV light and now I am uh, in the middle of a print, another four hours to go. Like I said, there will be part two to this video to show you a lot more about this uh, machine. And I hope to see you next time with more interesting gadget. Bye bye.